Now, I would think that universally people in this country would want and endorse and work for the trillion dollars that we could keep in this country and the hundreds of thousands of jobs that would be created if we used our own resources. It makes no sense to me that we will not issue the necessary number of permits for the Gulf or some federal lands, but we will import from Venezuela heavy crude, which by the way is the issue with the Keystone Pipeline. It's heavy, dark crude. Uh, but it's all right that we buy it from Venezuela for some reason. Just over two years ago, this president took office and gas on average was $1.84 per gallon. Today, largely because of their radically environmental policies, you're paying gas that's more than double that. And if you listen to them, and we have some of the folks here from them tonight, and they're welcome here, they'll tell you, we want gas at five or six or seven dollars a gallon because they want to force you out of your cars, out of those terrible SUVs and minivans that take your kids to, to baseball games and to practice. Oh, they're so bad. They want you out of those pickup trucks. They don't want you for ideological reasons. They want you paying five or six dollars a gallon. And we're here to say it's wrong. It's wrong for an administration to pursue policies in pursuit of a radical ideology that on purpose drives up gas prices, that drives up food prices, that makes it more expensive for families to live. All because of an ideological agenda. It almost makes you long for the days of Al Gore. I mean, he was a blowhard, but he was kind of harmless, right? He never really got anything done. He just complained a lot and tried to scare folks. It's not a matter of what type of energy, it's energy. We need to have a diverse portfolio of energy, and that includes fossil. And small business is taken in the shorts, I tell you, folks. Small business is, and we have to protect small business. Uh, I have a fleet of trucks on the road, heavy equipment. We buy a lot of steel. We, uh, em we employ a lot, of, a lot of folks. We have about, you know, about a million dollar payroll in the area. But I tell you what, uh, in the last week, from my vendors, I've seen a five to 10% increase in the price of my raw materials to do my job. My fuel prices for my trucks during the tenure of this administration has gone up 100%. Now, I continue to try to absorb that like most other small businesses do so we can keep this economy going. But there's only so far you can go as a small business person. We passed a bill this year where we're designating revenue to build infrastructure. And I think that's very important for every state, but especially in Nebraska. Thank you. And all these guys were with, with us on that. And so we've designated that money. And I'll tell you, we were able to do it without raising taxes. Yeah. You know what I'm tired about? You heard Senator Fulton talk about the science. You know, we just found out that down in Texas, they have a vast resource of uh, new oil fields, but it's the type that they have to use techniques that, that involve some risk. But the EPA probably won't let them do it. But we could increase our oil here in the United States, and they're not going to let them do it. I'm tired of that. I'm tired that we can't put up more refineries. You could bring all the crude oil you want in the world and we can't refine it. Our refineries at 98 plus percent capacity because they won't let us build another refinery. I could fill the park with oil. It won't matter. It won't go to your home because they have regulations. Regulations like that health care that no one can read that say to be decided. Now I don't know about you but I got kind of fired up and I apologize for that because I had to put gas in my truck to get out here. And again, you can see that thing. So, folks, I don't know about you, but we need to stay focused. You need to stay on your candidates. You need to support them. We need to let people who are going to keep that regulatory beast down. We're not going to beat it in one day. We're not going to beat it in one session. It's too big. But we need to have people who go to D.C. who will wield the sword regardless of hurting themselves. 
They can't be so worried about their political futures that they won't go and attack the beast that is this regulatory <laughs> that we're facing.